I am Ife the Storyteller, and I would like to share an original story and song with you. I wrote them both a few years ago, well, maybe about seven, eight years ago. A story can tie together many things of people and the culture. I know we can, a story can inspire and empower and teach, and a story can travel wherever you should go, it can change your life when it's full of strife, and it whispers a healing Can turn around and read you. One man relates, shows you just what to do. It makes the sad laugh aloud, and it humbles the crowd. And the story can sing you out in a crowd. I'm a witness. I know, I know, I know, I know we can. A sister and a brother were looking through magazines one day. When the young lady said, Look at beautiful is what this woman is, then I want to look like her. And the young man said, Well, if handsome is what this man is, then I want to look like him. And they took the magazines and they tucked them under their arms and they went off to see a magic man and they said to her, Listen now. Can you make us look like the people in these pictures? Can you make us beautiful? Oh, well, the magic man didn't want to do it, but they convinced him. And he changed hair, eyes, lips, nose, skin, and bodies. And when he was done, people gathered around and they said, You're so beautiful. Well, the family took a tour, and the first place that they stopped at, the sister and brother, and they walked amongst the people, and the people said, my, 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 you're so unattractive. Sure, they felt badly about this. So they went to see a magic man in the area, and they said, listen now, can you make us look like the people in your area? Can you oh, oh, make us beautiful? The magic man went to work, changing hair, eyes, nose, lips, skin, and bodies. And when he was done, people gathered around and they said, my, 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 you're so beautiful. Well, I wish I could tell you that this ritual stopped, but it did not. They changed themselves a few more times and finally it was time for them to go back home. When they got off the plane, people said, what did you do to yourselves? You are so unattractive now. They felt terrible. You see, they've done all they could do. So they went home and they got pictures. And the next morning, they went off to see that same magic man that changed in at first. And they said, listen up. Can you make us look like the people in these pictures? Can you oh, make us beautiful? They said, 
you see? These are pictures of how we looked before we sought approval of others. So the magic man said, look, uh, what have you learned? They said, we learned. But we let others define for us standards of beauty. And we've also learned that standards of beauty are superficial. They're not real because they change from area to area. And truth is truth wherever you go. And we also learned that standards of beauty are only man-made. The creator has never told one person they were attractive and another person they were unattractive. So, uh, oh, so won't you, won't you? Won't you, won't you, won't you make us beautiful? And so the magic man, he went to work. He went to work changing hair, eyes, nose, lips, skin, and bodies. And when he was done, friends and relatives walked away. But the young people looked in the mirror at themselves. And they were just the way they were before all the changes. And they said, Woo-wee! We are drop dead gorgeous. And they decided that if they ever would change themselves again, that they would do it with the knowledge that they were already beautiful. And those changes were just that. Why don't you look at the person that's sitting next to you and tell them that we are all beautiful. Tell them. And now why don't you tell them that there's no one on earth better looking than me. 